Simplified Life. My name is Patrick. Angelina. And today we are bringing you guys along our hotel journeys here in Las Vegas. Yes, we're back in Las Vegas. I'm honestly super happy, right? Yeah. I'm super happy we're back here. It's been a long time coming. It's been a while since we've been here. But anyways, we are here at Sahara Las Vegas. And just from walking in here, honestly, I, I, I love the place. I love that it's nice and renovated and it's very nice and classy. I feel it's classy. It still has a party vibe to it because of the new pool area. Adult area. Or adult uh, pool area. Yeah, brand new adult pool area, which is 21 and over. It's the Azilo Ultra Pool Lounge. Um, and let me tell you guys, it's amazing. But let's get right into the room tour. That's what you guys want to see, right? Let's go. Okay, let's get started on the room tour. So when you first walk in the entrance, the bathroom is right to your right. And it has a nice double mirror yeah it's kind of weird that it's stacked like that but yeah. i wish that the mirror was lower because yeah. like up here Short, per, shorter you're person. not going to get your fit in the picture uh -huh. it's super cute it has storage on the bottom toilet toilet and a shower we already showered and stuff so it's not like perfectly new right now <laughs> and to the left side it has a, a closet which we already put all our stuff in there. Yes. Pretty small, but yeah. they have a lot of storage. Uh -huh. And so it comes to this little... Storage area, I feel. Storage, yeah. Like you hallway your in your food. hallway. And, and, it, and, it, and it comes with a fridge. fridge. You already know we love that. Yep, nice. That fridge is so fancy. Yep. Well, compared to all the other ones, that's what, that's what I mean by... This one's nice and renovated because a lot of these hotels on the Las Vegas trip aren't renovated. But I'm glad this one is. A lot of storage for sure. What I like about this hotel that they have this next to the bathroom because I don't like to have my stuff out because it looks like not as nice. So not I put clean. like my high jeans in here instead of storing it in the bottom on the outside of the Oh, so there's a lot of storage you can store your food or even yeah. on top but like i said i don't like having my stuff i like it to look like a nice hotel so mm -hmm. four drawers here and then there's a mirror to the right side there's the bathroom door slides closes oh damn sorry don't break it and then it's perfect size okay so to the right side where the bathroom is look at this mirror nice so nice i've never seen a mirror this big with so these LED that's a pretty that's a pretty big lights mirror. i love this if you have a bunch of guests or a bunch of people you could off it on there for the fit pick for sure yeah and then it has two nice sands that look like this which are charging ports and it has an alarm on the other side and to the left side we have a long desk and four drawers right here for your clothes little office nice chair if you want to work there's a port over here so in the bathroom we already see if you want to be here there's a port and two on each sides of the beds which yeah. is good and then we have two chairs. like a little lounge area with two nice chairs mm -hmm. comfy and look at you can have a drink right here as yep. i am doing mm -hmm. and we'll come to the to the view area which i mean we didn't get a good view. no but we're but the sahara is not close to the strip where you don't get the like strip yeah the view. strip view so you i mean know? so it's no point to even try to look for a strip view here. yeah you could opt in for the strip view but you, it's yeah there's no point i feel might as well just get a regular one. And this... This one opens up a little this bit? This opens a little. Well, yeah, it, it opens up maybe like a... You can see the stop the stop bar right there. It opens up like probably like five inches. And I... This mirror is alright, but I like when the hotels have a full mirror. But it's you, you mean a You mean a full... I mean, full window. Yeah, okay. I like that. It's still but not bad, though. It's not it, bad. The room is just so nice it doesn't take from the room yeah and we have a nice king size bed look at this is not what hotels have but these have decorative pillows yeah. so cute they look very nice i never see a hotel with these i feel like they used every single like 
into this of the room like very good didn't mm -hmm. waste no space huh no i don't feel like there was any wasted space so like, you can't and be... it doesn't feel cluttered no it doesn't it just, like i said it feels like oh you have the 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 closet right there in the corner perfect and i think about that oh right next to it is the fridge right next to that is some storage right next to that is more storage I there's like a mirror a here storage. there's a mirror there oh huh. mm -hmm. that's very nice that's the thing sometimes when we go to a hotel they don't have enough mirrors like you want to have your nice exactly hotel you know, picture take some pictures know? look at yourself no matter no matter where you're going you, you always want to look at yourself right just to throw that throw whatever on but yeah i i like the decor i like how up to date it is and it makes me feel like i just spent a lot of money on this room mm -hmm. but i didn't at the end stick around for that because we will we will tell you guys how much we spend how much we save if you are brand new please be sure to hit that subscribe and that like button because it helps us out so much you don't want you don't even understand it's free for you guys but it goes a long way for us and now let's keep on going with this video let's go downstairs and check out the food that they got going on and some drinks too let's go at the cast bar here in pretty much in the middle of the whole casino area and i am trying out this mezcal drink i'm gonna put the name down below it's happy hour right now it's about to end at five o'clock but let me go ahead and try it first let's see it's our first drink of the day so let's see how this goes Woo, okay oh whoa there's a, lot of, there's a lot of flavors in there it was kind of like Spicy, but then it was like sweet. Oh my gosh, this is nice. This is good. You could for sure taste the tequila in there. I remember it has hibiscus and lime. Like I don't, yeah, uh, the, well, obviously the lime on top, but it tastes super good. I enjoyed it. It has like a little heat, but then it goes away with maybe the hibiscus. Maybe. But yeah, wow, that tastes that tastes really good. You could obviously taste the mezcal tequila, but I don't mind it. I feel like it, it goes, it's like strong for like a little bit, but then it goes away. I give that for sure, I, I give that a 10 out of 10. I think I, I recommend you guys get that for sure. Now Angelina's about to try hers, which hers is more of a, it's a vodka. So it's it's one of the one of the top three. We'll show you guys there which one hers is. It's a vodka one, so let's see how hers tastes, if she likes it. Let's see. Let me see. Okay, looks good. So mine has watermelon. Does it? I, I read that it's Oh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> mm. That tastes like a... Like a... What is it? Uh, it tastes like a watermelon candy. Yeah? I don't know which one I'm thinking of. Like a chili candy? Maybe like a sour watermelon candy. Oh wow, okay. It tastes really good. I can taste the vodka, yeah. which is not always that nice, but... It has a... It looks nice, the, presenta the presentation is, is nice. But it's not strong. It's not strong? No. No, honestly guys, you, you could tell... Cute, yeah, you could tell the bartenders here are <laughs> legit, huh? Mm -hmm. the, the guy up front, I don't know what his name was, but very nice guy. And the drinks are amazing for sure. And look at, check this out. Okay, I just gotta take a. And so we're in the back area, the end. The lounge area. Yeah, the lounge area and the decor is just amazing. I really like this area. Like this area. The, and the hotel itself is a very nice, intimate hotel, but I could just tell right now it's like fully renovated and it looks very nice. It looks very up to date, very classy. Very clean. Yeah, very clean, very like class, classy. Doesn't look like a low budget hotel, even though the prices are amazing. It does not feel that way. You know, it doesn't feel like you paid a lot of money to be here for sure. I recommend you guys come here to the Cast Bar. That's what it's called. But let's go ahead and enjoy our drinks. And let's keep it both of these drinks for $13 together. Yeah, for happy, happy hour. Happy hour that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. For, no, and, no, and the thing is that they're really good. You know, they're not like just these. I'm gonna throw some watermelon and whatever, some vodka in there. 
he actually, you know, I seen him pour everything and they're very legit. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and finish up these strings and let's keep this video going, guys. So guys, I got El Pastor fries, not a Sada fries. On the picture, it looks so tiny, but It is wow. pretty big, watch, put your, heart, put your hand right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot, in the picture it looks like a little plate. Yeah. So we got some guac and cheese. They're generous. Guac and cheese, I mean guac chips. and chips. They're generous with their size. Uh, that's a, that's know, pretty big. That's I don't know about Patrick's though. <laughs> Uh, yeah guys, so I got some tacos and look at these. Why does that one look American? Look at how, you know. That's American style. This is a hard shell taco. It's supposed to be chicken tinga. This is a shrimp one. I don't know, I, I kind of want to eat mine first. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, why didn't you eat already? Clock and chips, we always have to get clock and chips. So. Yeah. Clock and chips and tacos, we always got to get those too. How's that? Oh, very fun. <laughs> so I've Ready? never chased taste all the store fries. Like what? They look pretty good. It looks like it has enough like uh Let me grab some crema. It looks like it has crema. It has looks like it has everything. Cilantro. Yeah. A pico. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. What? Good. I don't know if this is drinks, but I think this beats Alpha Store. I mean, what do you mean? I think this beats the Santa Fries. Yeah? Well, you prefer Alpha Store over Asada, huh? I love Asada and quesadillas, but my favorite is Alpha Store. This is pretty good. Yeah? This is like a meal when you're already tipsy and going back to the room, which is nice that they already have it like prepared to go. It goes pretty quick. It's just like in here, the service was kind of like... You have to connect to the Wi-Fi yeah, to order? Yeah, you have to connect to the Wi-Fi, but so, it was So you, you scan the code and it literally comes like within, honestly, like five minutes? Five to seven minutes. Honestly, that was fast, huh? What do you give that? What do you rate that? So I rate this like as a... I'll give it an 8. Hey. It good. is like a nighttime snack. You know how like when you're like pretty tipsy and you want some Taco Bell? It gives me like that vibe. So these are mine. They look pretty small. Let me taste the shrimp one. Oh, this like... Like some type of sauce dripping out of one. That shrimp is popping out. Let me see. <laughs> All right, let me try the shrimp one. Tortilla is a little bit cold. That's probably why it came fast. Tastes pretty fresh. Fresh? A little bit spicy. I'm not sure if they have like kind of sauce sauce on that. It's good. Let me take one more bite. Mm, yeah, spicy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Woo. It's some water. Guys, that's that's really spicy. Spice level. I don't know. I don't know if I just spit a jalapeno, but spice level right now is like a ten. But that's for sure, that's an 8 out of 10. Yeah. I enjoy that one, it's fresh. It tastes like fresh out, fresh out the sea. Fresh out the sea. Oh my god, I think I just bit it into a jalapeno. I don't know if that shit is really hot. Alright, let me try the next one, which is chicken tinga. It's a hard shell taco, I, would, I don't even see that, but... Woo. Let me take out the tomato. Oh my god, that's so hot. That's so hot. Oh, this one looks good though. Check it out. This one looks good. This one looks good. 
So they're not really that much warm. They're kind of like in between warm and like cold kind of. It looks like some Taco Bell kind of stuff, yeah. but the chicken thing guy itself, that, that's some that's some Latino stuff right there. Oh, but the rest, good. the rest is like obviously more like Taco Bell. That's it's, what this place reminds me of, America meets Mexico. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like an American Mexican restaurant. But high end. Yes, but this chicken thing guy. It tastes good because it, it doesn't taste like it don't taste like some Taco Bell stuff. It tastes like some homemade, homemade Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? But it tastes good. The chicken thing guy is good. They're both eight out of ten. This one's spicy. I'm not sure what it has in it. You gonna have to made it so spicy. Yeah, I'll put it down below. And this one's just like mellow chicken thing guys. It's nice and soft. Eight out of ten. Also, recommend it. All right, guys, so we're gonna get check out the pool right now. Let's go. Alright guys, so we just paid for the tickets. That was pretty simple, right? Yeah. We didn't show you guys, but we'll probably show you guys on the way back over here, the whole process, which is pretty simple. Just pick your tickets, put your card, and they come out fast, right? Oh, when we pass, it's $5. Yeah, $5. And so I see 72-hour was 13 24 was like, 24-hour pass was oh, like, oh yeah, uh, three-day three pass was like 24. We'll show you guys. 29. 29, okay. We'll show you guys right now, but it just got here, so let's go. So that's pretty cool. It's a small little train. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's a small little train. Yeah. It's pretty cool so far. So far, pretty cool. Let's see how long it takes us to get there. We're going to the Harris station. So let's see. There's nobody driving. It's kind of weird. There's nobody driving. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an automa automated. Nobody driving. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Alright guys, so we just got off. That took about 10, mi 10 minutes. Uh, Monora exit to Harold. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we just got off. It took about 10 minutes. Wasn't too bad, right? It does drive itself, which is kind of weird. But I mean, like, I guess it works. It's just kind of sketchy. Well, not that it's sketchy itself, but it just feels like, whoa, like, kind of driving itself yeah exactly guys and fun fact about how we met we actually met in a metro station so it is kind of crazy or you know that we're taking a monorail again we haven't done that since we were really young we're still young but since we first met obviously <laughs> you know so it was kind of fun right little throwback for yeah, us I little like old vibes yeah throwback for us that was pretty fun guys so so we just arrived here at the at the Harris Link station. So we'll catch you guys back at the hotel because we're just gonna go walk around, have some fun. All right, peace. All right, guys. So our time here at the Sahara Las Vegas has come to an end, and we just want to give you guys our final thoughts about Sahara. And honestly, for me, I enjoyed everything about it. Um, there's a lot of bars to drink at. There's a lot of restaurants. It's kind of small, the casino area. But honestly, it feels like they used every single space up as much as they could and didn't leave no empty space. I know that it looks like they're kind of still working on some stuff. And then as far as the room, the room is kind of small. It looks very nice and detailed. They did pay attention to detail. So like I said before, it does feel like you're staying 
somewhere more upscale luxury you know and it feels like you're paying for it but you're really not because it's not so expensive so i would rate it a solid 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 i think is good what about you I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5. Just because of the location. Actually, oh, yeah, actually, no. I will give it an 8.5 as well because Louie took the monorail last night yeah. and it, it was so easy to get to like the strip. That's true. It took like and it 10 minutes. Late. Yeah, it took like 10 minutes um, for us to get there because there was like two other stops before getting to the links. But 10 minutes, I mean, you're obviously looking at the strip you know you're looking at other stuff yeah i forgot about that so yeah i'll give it an 8.5 as well hey the room is very nice the downstairs is nice pretty small like sometimes yeah. when you go through a casino like it'll it'll take you a long time oh, like yeah. the caesars or um, even cosmos, cosmo, yeah, yeah. cosmo has a lot. um but it, it was still very nice like they had nice bars yeah a lot of nice bars like restaurants nice. very nice, nice decor one. i like that like the hotel was like up to date fancy yeah. it was it's cute and the parking is free yeah free parking I'm which is nice yeah i'm pretty sure because you're so far away from the middle of everything but i mean free parking right now that's you can't mm -hmm. beat that obviously you can't you can't beat that and the casino area i would kind of um i would kind of say it's similar to the virgin mm -hmm. but the virgin i feel is even smaller. smaller yeah and this one just feels better like it just feels better you know the casino area feels better even though it's small it does feel feel good to be there and playing in the pool you don't have to stay here to come to the 21 and over pool the what's called uh, Azilo. Azilo? i thought that was nice Azilo. too because oh, yeah, what the... if your friends are staying somewhere else and you're staying here and, yeah or you guys want to go to a pool together and and you don't yeah you, you know they, they they don't have to pay right they just come yeah you know you don't even have to be yeah there's a nice bar here. there a nice tv oh, a lot of tvs oh, a long tv on yeah. the building i don't think i've ever seen at, that yeah at the hotels i know unique. there is one at circa but besides that i'm not sure where there is one that was my first time like witnessing that and i i, I think that's cool if you're obviously placing some bets or if you just want to watch a game sit at the pool there's a nice big bar that pool area was nice huh yeah it was pretty cute i know it's barely been renovated it's like resort style like no it's um, it's nice like very cute on like beach style yeah like like beachy like yeah yeah like if you're somewhere else like i feel maybe like somewhere like in cabo it kind of felt like that you know what i'm saying a kind of like island vibe kind of yeah you know very nice for sure uh, going back to the room now i feel you know it has a lot of storage obviously you have your your refrigerator which is always nice always a must for us i didn't even know they had a refrigerator but I'm glad they did the bed was very comfortable super comfortable oh yeah very comfortable i felt i like i synced in for sure mm -hmm. the bed i would give the bed 10 out of 10. and the pillows weren't so like big you know like sometimes yeah. the hotel pillows are like super big this big yeah. like i don't like big pillows and it was pretty um pretty not comfortable flat, but like you know it was comfortable. Nah, I, I feel like they were big but for, for whatever reason you just sunk into you, them you could like yeah like it would into. feel like it would get like my pillow would get big and i would just like in the night i would just like shake it and yeah. it'll like fly now how i wanted it yeah so where we were staying at was at the mira or mira tower which is right in front of the front desk area where you check mm -hmm. in i thought that was convenient for us it is also right in front of uh they're very close to each other both of the towers yeah they're, yeah i think there's i don't know maybe, maybe alexandria. three alexandria alexandria oh. maybe something else or maybe i could be wrong but yeah, so the Alexandria is like next door, mm -hmm. close to the monorail, and then we're right in front, you know, of the of the check-in area. I'm gonna put how much we paid for it for this room. I don't remember how much I paid, but it was probably like a hundred dollars. It wasn't even that bad. And the incidentals here for one night, I think were fifty dollars. I thought they were gonna be much higher. Fifty dollars, not that bad. No, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. And I think it was like forty-five, if I'm not mistaken for the resort fee, which I think is kind of typical, you know, but it does include your Wi-Fi, your gym, obviously all, all these things. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it here for us at Sahara. I do recommend you guys come in here, honestly, like we said, it is a ways from the actual middle of the strip, but 
take, monorail. taking that monorail is it just it's easy you mm -hmm. know 10 minutes you're there boom you know um but if you are not subscribed please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of hotel and food videos because that's what we love doing reviewing some food and some hotels right so make sure to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next time peace